Hi, Matt here with Uniweld Products. Over the years, the HVAC industry has seen various methods of connecting copper tubing. And as new products for connecting tubing have come out, like epoxies, flare connections, and O-ring crimp fittings, one method has truly stood the test of time. Brazing copper lines is the most reliable, time-tested, and proven procedure for a leak-free connection in the HVAC and refrigeration industry. When you braze your copper lines, you have confidence in your work, and you know that system is going to run reliably for years to come. Now, in certain situations like this here, where you're working in a tight space and inside of a wall, it may seem difficult to use a torch to braze this copper tube. But with safety as a priority, Uniweld offers several tools to help make strong and reliable braze tubing connections while also reducing the cost of the job. Now with the continuously increasing price of copper, one of the best ways to reduce costs is to eliminate copper fittings. Uniweld's UEK-1 hydraulic expander tool has a compact 90 degree design to allow it to fit in this small space and swage the copper tubing with ease. The expander is only to be used on soft copper. If the tubing is hard drawn copper, it can be annealed with a torch first and then it can be swaged. By swaging the tubing, I have just eliminated the need for a copper coupler, and now there is only one joint to braze instead of two, which lowers the chances of a leak, cuts the brazing time in half, and reduces the amount of silver alloy that will be consumed. Now I need this copper line to turn 90 degrees and extend out past the drywall. I'm going to use Uniweld's RTB118 ratchet tube bender to make a 90 degree bend. This tool is intended for use with soft copper or aluminum, and it can create precise bends up to 90 degrees with minimum distortion for optimal flow. It is helpful to lubricate the mandrel so the tubing can flex easily as it is being reshaped. Repeatedly squeeze the handle until the desired bend is achieved, then simply push the handle down to release. The ratchet tube bender just eliminated the need to buy a 90 degree elbow, which lowers the cost of the job again and reduces the number of joints to braze. Now that our tubing is swaged and our bend is ready, let's prepare to braze. Remember, when using flame tools, it's important to always follow proper safety procedures and have a fire extinguisher nearby. For eye protection, Shade 5 goggles are great for welding and cutting steel, but are a little dark for brazing. Uniweld recommends Shade 3 goggles. They protect your eyes and still allow you to see your work. Now, when brazing in small spaces, it's important to protect the surrounding area from the intense heat of an oxyacetylene torch. Uniweld's FB12 flame barrier is a great solution for this. The flame barrier can withstand up to 3200 degrees of direct heat. It can take the direct flame from a matte pro or propane hand torch, an aerocetylene torch, and the secondary flame of an oxyacetylene torch. But if you leave the oxyacetylene flame on too long, it will burn through it. The flame barrier is flexible, and it can be cut so that it can perfectly fit the workspace and protect the drywall, exposed wiring, and any other nearby sensitive materials. Since this braze is inside a wall, position the flame barrier to prevent the flame and heat from going up into the interior wall and possibly catching the house on fire. If necessary, use thumbtacks or small nails to hold the flame barrier securely in place. Now let's braze this joint using a Uniweld torch. Another great tool for brazing in a small space is the MTF5 cap and hook tip that features five flames for 100% wraparound on the tubing. There is no heat on the back of the tip, and the 45 degree flame angle directs the heat down the tubing and away from any nearby sensitive materials. The pipe will heat evenly and quickly, reducing the time spent with the flame in the wall. As the tubing heats up and becomes red, feather the flame off and on the tubing to control the heat and prevent melting the copper. The capillary action of the alloy and the even heat distribution on the tubing
causes the alloy to flow around the joint completely. The alloy will always flow towards the heat, so move the flame slightly behind the joint to draw the alloy inside for a solid, leak-free connection. After brazing is complete, the flame barrier can be folded and kept in a dry place for future use. When using the proper tools from Uniweld like the UEK-1 Hydraulic Expander, the RTB-118 Ratchet 2 Bender, the FB-12 Flame Barrier, and the MTF-5 Cap and Hook Tip, brazing in tight spaces is a simple task and you'll see more profits on your bottom line by reducing your costs. For more information on these products, please click the links below in the description or visit us at uniweld.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt with Uniweld. Quality tools that go to work with you.